Um, now, an email from uh, Neil Waite from Hampshire. Um, I'd love to know where Paul got his inspiration to write the awesome Guns of Britain, uh, Brixton featured on the London Calling album. Um, when you wrote it, did you originally intend to sing it? Uh, hi, Neil. Uh, no, I didn't intend to sing it at all. It was, uh, it was just... Uh, I mean, it really started from a, a melody that I had in my head and, uh, and I sort of worked out a bass line for it and then, then started writing the lyrics. And the lyrics, in some ways, were sort of... From a sort of a sort of paranoia, because at that period um, you got, I mean, I guess because of the period that it was, uh, it, you had like the sus laws. But I mean, that they they were more targeting the black community. But because you looked like a punk at that time, then you got a certain a, a, a amount of harassment. Not in the same way, but still. So it was it was born out of paranoia, really. That song. And there was a slight influence, obviously, from the harder they come about sort of uh, reaction to being uh, shoved around. Um, Neil also mentions, um, does Paul know that on the 1989 CD release of London Calling, the song is credited to Paul Simon and not Paul Simonon? Paul Simon's been nicking your royalties. Yeah, well, well, yes. maybe I've been nicking his. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> that, that'd be a better way round. Uh, uh, easy to say, but when you're, when you're a teenager, it's all a bit different. I noticed that the famous guitar, this is Neil Waite again, that uh, he smashes up on the colour of London Calling was display, uh, displayed at the Clash pop-up shop in Soho last year. Um, That's right. Did he know it would uh, become such an iconic symbol of this classic album and music? And do, do you own the guitar still? Uh, yes, I I do own the guitar, and, and it's funny because after after the uh, well, we we didn't do any after this particular show in New York. We didn't do obviously we didn't do any more songs because it was right near the end of the show, uh, and we didn't come back for an encore because I didn't have a guitar really ready on hand. Uh, so um, as I was walking off, I was just gonna, I left the debris there, but then I noticed Strummer had picked up one bit of it and he was walking off with it. I was thinking, hold on a minute, that that belongs to me <laughs> and I took it back from him I said that's mine and then I got the other pieces and I, I've kept them but sort of just in a box for ages and then recently uh, um, they were they went to sort of some museum in, in America and, and I thought you know what I'm going to bring it back I brought it back and uh, and I actually broke a little piece off that had flaked off and, and put it in this sort of frame that I was, was presented to some charity for them to raise money and it was called a chip off the old block but, um, yeah, I, I still own it, and, uh, yeah. Do you play bass at all still? Not that one. Well, it's great to see you. Nice to see you too, and uh, thanks, Neil, for your, your uh, message. <laughs> yeah. Well, so many people have asked to pass on their best wishes to you, okay. and just thank you for all, all the music.